the view shows a high resolution mesh surface extracted from a 3D object. This complex triangular mesh was selected to provide a serious challenge to CNC toolkit's coding ability. Dimensions of 211 by 241 by 285 mm were established using GMAX uniform scaling. To create rough and passes, two splines are created. One defines the uncut stock, and the other defines the last rough and pass. GMAX spline morphing provides fast interactive means to view and capture intermediate rough and passes. Wrapboard and CMC toolkit quickly converts rough and pass shapes into tool paths. The script adds angle vectors to control A axis and C axis rotation. CMC toolkit post processing extracts the tool path G code and simultaneously generates the viewport preview. If desired, scene geometry can be animated by the preview data. This allows creation of stand in 3D representations of spindles and fixtures. CMC toolkit spline projection features are applied to produce high resolution finished path shapes. In this case, five shapes were created for the finishing path. The path sections are processed to tool path and G-code. Using section finish paths reduces demand on system resources. Completion times are not excessive even for this large object. Post-processing gains similar speed benefits from use of section finish paths. Viewport previews offer a high degree of customization for optimum viewing and dual motion. G-code for the pass can be reviewed in the Max script listener. Grab listener executes a standard save of the listener window content. As a fitting conclusion to this test, CMC toolkit G-code output was executed by Colin Dowdy.